So here it is, my 2.0T engine. It's got the original pistons in it from 2013 and there was some high oil consumption. So I was trying to clean up the carbon on these pistons. I only did cylinders one and two though. I did spray some sea foam in the intake. So some of the sea foam probably cleaned up these two pistons a little bit, but the majority were cylinders one and two, like I said, uh, Berryman B12, some CRC intake valve cleaner, and uh, some sea foam I sprayed. And in between, I ran the engine multiple times and got it all the way to full operating temperature before every flush. Now, the last flush, I poured gas directly in these hot cylinders, and I cranked the engine over a little bit, back and forth, and uh, I sucked the gas back out, and then ran it. And uh, <clears throat> where am I going with that? Some of the gas uh, got down past the rings and into my oil. So I used some of that gas that got down past the rings into the oil as a type of flush from the bottom end. I probably ran the engine about uh, 10 miles with half a quart of gas mixed with my regular engine oil. So, in my opinion, that should have flushed some, some stuff out from the bottom side as well, all the way across the board. I cannot possibly flush this engine any better. I guarantee you, I flushed these two cylinders at least better than I will ever flush any engine my entire life. I probably spent $100 in chemicals and over the period of three days of flushing, so now I will proceed with uh, flipping the engine over and taking all four of these pistons out and we'll take a look at the rings. And the condition so far, there's usually a light crosshatch in these cylinders and you always wanna look for uh, any kind of groove. And there is unfortunately one super tiny little scratch right here. I can barely feel it right there. See if it'll, I don't think it's gonna show up on, right, right there. It's not bad enough to where it's gonna matter for anything, but I prefer that there's no scratches. All right, flip it around and we'll pop the pistons out. So these pistons are all in order. One, two, three, four. These two should be the clean ones. These two should be the dirty ones because I did not clean these two, just these. And from what I can tell, there's no difference whatsoever from the ones I cleaned to the ones I didn't clean. That bottom ring is just as clogged as I've ever seen it. They look completely identical. It might have cleaned them up a little bit though. I'm thinking just the, the flush from the bottom is what cleaned them because uh, I did get a little bit of crud in the bottom of the pan and I'll show you that. And after that, I'll take these bottom rings off and compare them because I can't tell any difference. I've looked at them extensively for about 15 minutes. Now there's just a little bit of hard carbon in the bottom of this oil pan. And that obviously came out with the flush. And uh, looks like there's just a hair of metal as well. I don't know how healthy it is to be putting low viscosity fluids in your engine to flush. The healthiest way to do it, obviously, is just to replace the pistons. So that's that spring underneath there, chock full of carbon. And then this is the oil control ring. I just blew compressed air on it. This is the one that has the pinholes in it. This is the worst design oil control ring from 2009 to 2011 primarily. And every single hole is still clogged up. 
That's cylinder one. Cylinder two, probably gonna look like the same exact thing. We're gonna go over here. Now it did look like, for instance, see where that ring gap is? It did look like it cleaned around where that ring gap is, but you would have to keep on cleaning it until it moves around. I, I just don't think it's possible. The engine would have to rotate the ring and you'd have to clean it more. And so that part is clean right there underneath this oil control ring. But if you pop that out, it's still chock full of carbon. And that bottom ring chock full of carbon. I'm gonna blow it with compressed air. Still completely blocked. No progress whatsoever. I mean, maybe just a tiny bit, but not enough to make a difference. 100% clogged. I just, I don't see it, folks. Now these style are the worst oil control rings that they came out with. These have little tiny pinholes that get clogged up almost immediately. Then they went back to the slots, the third generation that almost none of them got is that waffle style ring. So maybe it's possible to clean a little bit better on the slot style and on this waffle style, but I have zero faith cleaning out this pinhole style oil control ring. Zero faith. I don't like the idea of putting low viscosity flush fluids in with the engine oil. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it, Naptown Tuner.